friends and welcome back to Bush Rats. Get out here today in a paperback uh, bushland sort of area uh, with young Lee. So today we are going to do a bit of a cook up. If you had seen our last episode we went trout fishing. Tone's on here, first fish of the day. What do you know, we've caught a perch people. Fish on Tone. Oh, nice size rainbow. Well, oh, jeez, he's jizzing all over me. Caught a nice stonker of a trout. Yeah, yay, yay big. We've got him right here. Uh, so while we wait for these coals to burn down, come with me to the kitchen and uh, let's see what we're going to need for this. All right, so there's a few dudes hooning around on motorbikes. So ignore the noise. Um, but today, we're going to be cooking trout. As fresh as it gets. Caught yesterday down in the river, um, only a couple minutes from here. So, um, I'm going to do something I've never done before, and we're going to do a paperback wrapped trout. So, we've got a paperback here which we've um, pilfered from a tree on the way in. Didn't uh, cut it off, I just got the stuff that was sort of hanging off, so uh, already dead. Some of it's a bit wet, which is going to work in our favour. Um, got plenty there, so we're going to have to uh, try and work out some sizes to wrap this fish. I'm going to keep it real simple, so I like to do the cooking episodes in a way that if you were actually out bush camping, you didn't have to bring 18 pots and pans and every ingredient from coal. So, running through everything you're going to need, what we're going to use. Uh, first up, an onion. Second, a bit of garlic, homegrown from the patch. A little bit of thyme, a little bit of parsley. I'm going with some cherry tomatoes here, just about four, that'll do. A little bit of baby rocket. Some lettuce, a little bit of parmesan cheese, some salt, some pepper, a little bit of olive oil. It's kind of set real rock hard, so I have to put him by the fire to melt him down a bit. And for a bit of spice and a bit of tang, I've gone with our buddy Charbro's Barbecue, lemon number one. So I'm not a big fan of actually stuffing fish with lemon or putting lemon on your fish and chips. Um, this one here is real nice. Uh, what's the ingredients? Salt, pepper, lemon, spices, herbs, made in WA from local imported ingredients. Check them out, Charbro's Barbecue. So first things first, you're going to want to gut your fish. Um, we're going to do it whole, so I've left the head on, full gutted him up so he's nice and empty, uh, ready to be stuffed full of ingredients. And then we're going to wrap it up in some paper bark, which we're going to um, put a little bit of moisture on as well, just so it doesn't burn on the flames. And we're just waiting for them coals to sort of die down, and we're not too far away. But in the meantime, let's put this thing together. So like I said, we've got the trout here, full gutted, cleaned. Trying to drop him, ready to go. Um, and we're just going to slice up some onion, dice up some uh, garlic, chop up your herbs, slice up some tomatoes, stuff it all in there with a little bit of baby rocket for some zest. Um, and then we're going to put the dustings and the salt and pepper on the outside of the skin, so let's make it happen. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slice up some onion. All right, once you've got your onion sliced up, pop it on a plate. We're going to mix all these ingredients together, make a bit of a salsa, sort of a deal. Um, and with the trout, you could probably stuff it with whatever your favourite things. I mean, things like cheese and bacon would be quite nice. You could do it with like a nice pesto. Um, so we're just gonna, like I said, we're going to keep it nice and simple on this one. Next up, we're going to slice up some tomatoes. You can four little cherry tomatoes to do the job. All right, onion, bit of tomato. Might have too much onion here, but we'll work it out. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to dice up some garlic, nice and fine. Plenty of garlic, I'm always a big fan of the old garlic. And chop up the herbs nice and fine, ready to go in with the salsa. Alright, salsa's coming along, tomato, a bit of onion, some herbs and spices. I'm going to pop a bit of rocket in there as well. Give it a bit of a peppery sort of taste. And 
last but not least, Parmesan cheese in there. All right. Got a bit of lettuce there as well. That's for presentation purposes at the end. I'm gonna pop some of this stuff away and clear up, and then we're gonna try and stuff this tree out and get it wrapped up in some paper bark. And give you a little salad there, a bit of a mix through. Probably made a bit too much here, but you wanna get your uh, fish nice and stuffed. All right, so we're gonna peel them open now. Oh, definitely made too much. It's not as much room as I remember. Jam as much as we can in there. Spread your tomatoes. Get some onion in there. All the good stuff. Something like that. This is where we're at. Stuffed trout. I don't think I could get much more in there. Right, so the last thing we're going to want to do is uh, salt and lemon number one, uh, the skin. So I'm going to do one side now, we're going to pop that in the paper bark, do the other side as we go. So a bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. A bit of lemon number one. Mm, that smells pretty good. Like I said, guys, check him out. Charbro's Barbecue. It's one of my buddies, Chris. He's also got a fire cooking school. He does some ripper cookups. It's nice. Even coating on that there. Let's paper bark this thing up. All right, so I'm not super sure on how to do this. Never actually done it before, but I'm sure we'll work it out together. Thinking nice. I need a longer piece. I'm trying to use the inside sort of stuff on the edge so it hasn't got too much dirt on it. Uh, I've given it a bit of a spray down with some water to keep it nice and soggy. I'm probably going to wet the outside, but I think the idea is we're not trying to um, steam the fish. We're trying to still bake it and um, get that smoky flavour, but we also don't want the paper bark catching on fire. So, let's see how we go. All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to do a crisscross sort of pattern. So a couple that way few that way. That way I can roll these outside edges up and around. Where's my fish up? There he is. Plonk him up that way down. Just a little bit more salt and pepper on the other side. A bit more lemon number one. Just a quick drizzle of oil. Should probably flip him to the other side. Let's get rolling. wrap. Like I said, I've got no idea how this is going to go. I don't know if the whole thing is just going to catch on fire. Um, but I've got a nice bit of coals here. Wrap's falling apart. I'm just going to water it down a little. Pop it straight in the coals. Alright, we're going to check back in on that. It should take maybe 20 minutes each side. May have to get a second fire going just to keep topping up the coals, but we're learning together.
Alright, we're dealing with a couple of spot fires here and there. Uh, but it's been on for about five minutes, I'm just going to give it a flip, make sure we're not losing too much paper bark. It's not looking too bad at all. Give that another five and we'll check back in. So this thing has been in for getting on to about an hour now. I have had to restoke the fire a couple of times um, and give it one rewrap. But had a little sneaky check halfway through and it's not looking too bad at all. Um, let's pull this thing off and see how she goes. Have a sneak peek in here. It's not looking too bad at all. I'll bring you in for some uh, B roll action right now. That's it there guys, paper bark, smoked trout, done on the campfire, um, only one thing left to do and that's taste this thing eh? Uh, once again I forgot a fork, but we've got a knife here, let's open this thing up see what we're dealing with. All that inside bit's looking real nice, bit of cooked onion, bit of tomato. Very nice. Bit of skin. Let me chair go on. Just flaking off. Nice couple of bits of meat. Falls right off the bone. The skin's a little crispy. Next time I'd probably um, pull it out of there a little bit earlier, maybe put it in a pan just to crispen up the um, skin there. Get out of here, bug. Look at that meat, just flaking. Bit of lettuce. Look at that. Doesn't get any better than that. No fresher. Caught yesterday. Skin's not too bad. I think next time if I was to do it, I'd probably use a little less paper bark so you can get a little bit more heat in there. Um, like I said, I had to restoke that fire a couple times. Um, and it took about an hour, so about half an hour each side. Bit of dicking around, getting the fire up and running again. Rewrapping, let it get too hot once and paper bark caught all on fire. And it was a bit of a mess, but Results are worth it. Not bad at all. Sorry about the eating with the hands, guys, but I always seem to forget me uh, cook, 
cutlery and utensils. A bit of the sauce from the inside, nice and cooked, nice and cheesy. Let's try a bit of everything, a bit of meat. Spot on, I think I've done well today. Look at that. Nice and flaky. Just comes apart in segments. Well, thanks for coming along for the ride, friends. This one's been a bit of fun. Trying out a new technique, smoking up some fish in paper bark, on the coals. Um, and I think we've done pretty well here, so nice feeds. I'm gonna get stuck into this. If you like this kind of thing, like and subscribe. If you want some merch, bushrats.bigcartel.com. We don't keep the merch stocked at all times, but um, if you check out our Instagram, at bushrats, we'll let you know when the next releases are coming out and when we've got new stuff. Until um, next time, guys, we'll see you out on the track, stand by a river near you. Yoo.